So good evening. My name is Maria Gabriela Calle. I'm from Universidad del Norte in Barranquilla, Colombia. And I'm presenting the work called Coherence and Cohesion Issues in Argumentation Documents Written by Engineering Students. We have a large group of authors, Professor John Candelo from Universidad Nacional, Sede Medellín. And the other group are from Universidad del Norte, Jose Daniel Soto, Luis Torres, Norelis Quetini, Maria Calle, all from Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department, Lucy Garcia from Systems Engineering Department, Adela de Castro, she's from the Spanish Department. And let me just continue here, right? There you go. So, well, my agenda is to present to you the team, to give you the motivation for this work, to present you the methodology, uh, our evaluation tool, some results and the preliminary conclusion, conclusions from our study. So I told you we're a, a bunch of people, bunch of engineers try to improve the communication skills of our students. The only expert we have here is Adela de Castro. Uh, remember, we live in Colombia, so our native language is Spanish. Uh, she's a professor at the Spanish department. She has published several books, and she's the, the, co the coordinator of the communication skills courses taught in the university to everybody, to all the students. And she has also received different awards from, related to the, to the Spanish language. So that's why she's our tutor, our mentor, and the only resident expert in, in the communication skills area for us. Uh, there you go. So Barranquilla is in the north coast of Colombia, and Medellin is in the, in the mountains. Uh, those are the locations of our two universities. And these are the motivation for our, for our work. First of all, we noticed that our students have very poor communication skills. Uh, they may have solid technical knowledge, but they didn't have the skills to explain it. Uh, so that was a huge problem for them, and it may impact on the performance on, or the courses, and also on their, or their performance in, in their jobs. Uh, we also had some feedback from employers that, tell, that told us that that was a big problem. So we started working this whole group that you saw here in basic communication skills to help people, students, to improve them through the professional courses. After the basic communication skills, we started working on argumentation for engineers. And so we thought, OK, what's the next step for us? And so we started working on these two uh, subjects called, oops, sorry, coherence related to the global meaning of the document and cohesion, which is more related to the microstructure of the, of the document. So this is our methodology. Uh, first, we did a literature review and a, and a study of the subject. <laughs> Sorry. And I just want to emphasize, since we are all a bunch of engineers, we had to study a lot to be able to understand this subject, and coherence and cohesion. Because previously, we were able to notice that there were some failures in the documents of our students, maybe some basic errors, grammar errors. But then to go deeper than that and to be able to understand what's going on and to explain that to the students, that required a lot of study on our part. Then we designed an evaluation tool, a rubric, uh, with different coherence and cohesion criteria. We sent this evaluation tool to be validated, validated by two experts. They gave us some very good feedback and helped us to improve the tool, and they advised us to study even more about this subject. Finally, we asked the students to write a five-paragraph essay uh, argumenting about an ethical dilemma on the engineering profession. And we took that essay and we evaluated that using the tool that we just designed. So this is uh, the evaluation tool. We use a scale on, uh, for grading with five levels. The first level is the lowest. Is, we called it not competent yet. Uh, we went to a little competent, partially competent, proficient, and advanced. We were surprised to see some students showing some advanced skills in this part of the communication. And these are the criteria for coherence. 
Uh, first is called paragraph structure. That means that all ideas in the paragraphs are clear. You can follow them. The second one is called thematic unity and global logical order. It means that uh, you can follow the argument or the subject throughout the text and it's consistent. Some of the students will go from different subjects in each one of the paragraphs, so it's a little bit complicated. Uh, so that's the thematic unique part. Included information means that the student uh, used enough information to support the point of view that he's arguing about. The next part is cohesion. Uh, so we use this criteria. Connection and connectors uh, verifies the validity of the connection and the relevance of the use connector. Because sometimes students will use a connector and they will mean some other, some other idea. Or most of the time they won't use connectors at all. They will just use a phrase, another sentence, another sentence, another sentence, and no connections. Um, we also verified the use of linguistic references. Uh, references are words referring to portion of the text, either, uh, well, either inside of the text or outside of the text, to avoid repeating the same word. And finally, we have thematic progression. That verifies how new information is added into the document. In other words, it's the presentation of secondary ideas to be able to fulfill all the the argument. We evaluated initially 39 essays from seniors in the electrical, electronics, and computer systems engineering, and third year students in electrical and electronics engineering. They prepared their essays during class time. Uh, they used computers and uh, text editing software. They were able to use internet and different referencing tools. So they have 1.5 hours to create the five paragraphs and the reference to argue about the, the ethical dilemma. Those are the results. You can see here uh, the, the level of achievement of each one of the criteria. This is paragraph structure. And this is the percentage of students located in each one of the levels. So if you compare the top, the top two levels, uh, approximately 60 or a little bit more than 60% of the students uh, can present their ideas clearly within the paragraphs. Uh, in thematic unity, we have a kind of a 50% of students showing consistently that they can go through the same subject, but we have 40%, well, uh, a little bit more than 40, almost 50% of the students that just go with different ideas, that confuses the reader and doesn't help to, to convey the idea that you present. This is the information uh, that they include to support their point of view. Again, we have 60% in the topmost categories, but we also have this 40% here that need a little bit more work. Uh, regarding cohesion, we have here the problem I showed you regarding connection and connectors. Almost 60% of the people is like not very competent using them. And we have only these two parts, like 40% uh, in the topmost uh, levels. Regarding linguistic references, we have again 50% of the people not competent yet. So we still have a lot of things to do here. And Regarding thematic progression, so including more ideas to support the ones that you already have, we have a similar uh, behavior as the previous ones, uh, 50 more or less 60% over here, and the rest 40 is in this part. This is just an initial evaluation, but the present conclusions, okay, we design and test the rubric for coherence and cohesion. In most criteria, 60% of the students showed proficient and advanced levels. However, we need to improve the use of connectors, uh, linguistic references, and including more information to clarify the positions. And for future work, we plan to increase the sample size and to use different documents, not just argumentative essays, to, to verify how are they writing. That's it. Thank you very much, Miriam. Some questions. <laughs>